Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create your own hand poses. As you may know from the grabbing tutorial already, you can open up a static mesh and here under sockets you can define a new socket, for example for the ref right hand here, um, followed by a number. And all of this is explained in the grabbing tutorial, so I'm not talking too much about it, but basically we have already created some custom meshes for you. Let's use the plate here. And now we can define the way we want to create this plate. So we can just position it here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own poses. Let's open up the folder. These are 10 examples we already provided for you, but of course you will want to expand it with your own hands. And just a reminder, these static meshes here are not being used in the actual game. So they are just for helping you to position this the socket here. So you have a visual reference on what the final result will look like. But we are actually using a skeletal mesh for it. So this way we can blend between the different poses and not just snap into this position here. So just keep in mind, these here are not being used in the game. They are just there for you, but we will focus on the actual skeletal mesh we are going to create. Let's open up the hand cloth, the skeletal mesh and export it. So we can modify it in something like Maya. So here's the final skeletal mesh in Maya. And now you can just create any pose you like. I'm going to just do a very simple one. So and I'm going set a keyframe. I only need two frames basically. So I set the timeline to one here. So just go to frame one, keyframe everything. And now I'm able to export it. And I'm not needing the actual mesh. So I just need the animation. So let's deselect the import mesh one. Let's select the skeleton. In this case, it's these skeleton hand epic, this one here. So let's import it. And now you can see we have this animation inside of Unreal, this animation pose. And the next thing would be to actually add it to the animation blueprint. So let's open the animation blueprint up, open the animation graph. And here you can see this is the part where the actual selection of the pose is happening. So here are all the 10 different animations we have provided and they are defined inside this enum here. So let's hope we need to add our pose in here. So first of all, we need to find this enum. So we have this folder enums. Let's search for wrap pose, open it up. And here we can add a new entry and call it rock. Hit save and close this. And now we can add it to this blend pose. To add it here, just right click on the node. And here you can see add pin for element rock. So let's add it. Now we have a new pose here. It's currently empty. Let's make some space here and open our asset browser. Let's search for our rock animation and drag it in here. And now we can connect both of them. Hit compile. Let's save it. And to see if everything is working, you can go to the animation preview editor, hit the pose override, and select the pose you want to see. So let's make our rock. And you can see it's working nicely. 
One thing you will also recognize is that it's nicely blending so from one pose to another one. And you can blend from every pose you have to another one without any issues here. So this is already working fine. Everything is set up and it would already work in the game, but we need to position it into our static meshes. So let's create a preview asset for this one here. And the way we want to do this is very simple. Just select the post that is, it is here and hit the make static mesh button. Let's try to find the right folder here. I'm going to rename it later, so just hit OK. And I'm going to stick to the same naming convention, so I'm just copying it and paste it into my new one here. The last one was in the enum at position 10. This one here is the in the enum at position 11, so I'm going to name it 11 underscore rock and hit save. And now if I open up my static mesh, we can go in here and search for our rock. And there we have the static mesh. One thing we need to keep in mind, if you remember the crapping tutorial, this number here is referring to the index of the enum and the index is 11. So let's call it right underscore 11. We can do the same for the left hand, but let's just stick with the right hand. And now I can position it. Of course, it doesn't make that much sense, this pose here, but it's ACDC, it's rock, so I thought it would, will fit nicely. So let's make something like this, just so you can see that it is working. Beautiful. And one last thing we need to do in order to actually pick this up is we add a new component called crap component. And let's also add a highlight component so we can see when we hover it. And now we should be good to go to, to test it out in VR. So here you can see the disk. And once I hover over it and actually grab it, you can see that it's nicely blending into my rock animation. And if I let go, it blends back to the normal position. So the last thing I wanted to show you is that we are actually, as I told you, these are just preview meshes and we are not using them, them in game. Nice way I can show you this is if I open up the blueprint folder. So here you can see by default, it's this cloth we are using. And um, if you want to change it, you can't change it here because we have a setup. So let's open up the setup here and there is this change hand mesh. Let's open this function up and here you can set the actual mesh of the hand. Right now it's the glove, but we can change it, for example, to the Oculus one. And now all the poses we created for the skeleton will also work with, the, with this one and we don't need to make any new static meshes or any further adjustments, so it will work out of the box. So, as you can see, I have the Oculus hand, I hover over my plate, and it nicely blends into my rock animation here. And of course, if you want to add your own hands, it's basically the same approach. You can just download the skeleton again, like I did here, import your own mesh and skin it to the very same bones, and then you can import your own hands into, into the Unreal Engine and all the animations we created for, the, for them as they are using the same skeleton, everything will work. So I hope this explains the process of adding all your own hand poses to the framework. And if you have any questions, I would um, advise you to watch the actual grabbing tutorial of Ansgar. He explained a lot of the grabbing functionalities I skipped here. So I think they, they will be beneficial for you here. 
And if you have any other questions, just join our Discord and write me a message.